new assembly bill was introduced to strengthen California's community news organizations, protecting their ability to provide all Californians with that important information about news and events in their communities. Joining us now to talk more about AB 323 is 48th District State Assembly Member Blanca Rubio. Good to talk to you with you, Assembly Member. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about the bill. I'm excited uh, to have introduced it. Yes. Tell us about it. What does it do? How does it help news organizations and the community? Well, um, as it as you can recall, last year uh, there was a bill number AB5 that uh, required independent contractors and uh, to become employees of any organization. So there was a subsequent bill to exclude uh news uh, carriers from that that particular uh, requirement. And it was a one year extension, basically, or exemption. And so my bill, um, because of COVID and everything that's going on right now, um, would extend that uh, for two more years. And so, so that would at least give the opportunity to the news outlets to um, get through the pandemic and try to figure out what they're going to do next. The idea is that AB5 categorizes independent contractors as employees and a lot of news outlets use independent contractors, right? They can maybe pay them for the story or just for a few hours a day. And there was a problem with AB5 and how news organizations are structured. Absolutely. And that also included the carriers. And as as you know, um, well, I can tell you firsthand that not everybody gets their news media or their news from uh, Google, specifically the older population and a lot of the ethnic communities, which I represent um, quite a few. And so for me, it's also about making sure that um, our population is getting, um, quite frankly, accurate news. I depend on, on all of you and the newspapers uh, for that information. Specifically, uh, my parents are 79 and 74. And as long as I can remember growing up, I'm an immigrant. We always read La Opinion. And that's the, the news of choice for my parents. And again, a lot of the older population and the ethnic minorities don't go on Google to get their information. Were you learning that a lot of these ethnic areas maybe had smaller newspapers and they were getting hurt uh, more than maybe some larger organizations were and you realized that you needed to do something about it? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I uh, represent a very diverse community, a lot of Asian uh, folks, Filipinos, uh, uh, Latinos. And so, yes, they're, you know, and quite frankly, I mean, as it was, the newspapers were already in trouble just because of uh, folks getting their, their information online. And then add to that the AB5 and the Borello decision, Dynamex, basically, and now uh, add the pandemic to that. And my fear is that we're going to lose a lot of these news outlets that a lot of our minority and older population depend on. So I understand that tomorrow there's going to be a Senate Labor Committee hearing. What do you expect to happen tomorrow? Well, I'm definitely putting on my gloves. Uh, I know that it's going to be an up uphill battle, but I am confident that, you know, it, a lot of the committee members are, um, you know, really open to, to making sure that some of these news outlets don't go under. So I, uh, my goal is obviously to get it out of the committee. Um, it's Senate committee. Then the, the other battle begins. We have to um, get it out of appropriations, and then we have to go to the assembly side, and that's where the, the, the other battle um, is going to, uh, to begin. However, one step at a time, tomorrow at 10 a.m. is the, the hearing. I'm hoping to get it out of, of uh, the committee, and once we do that, then we can strategize and hopefully work with a lot of the news organizations to try and figure out how we can move the bill forward. Yeah, it certainly seems like a reasonable request. You just want to extend it to two years so news outlets can kind of do what they need to do to get in line with AB5. Blanca Rubio, yeah. State Assembly member, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Appreciate all your hard work. Thank, thank you so much, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Okay, as do I.